test test. Check check. Check check check. What's the problem here? Check 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 check. Check, 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 check. 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 One, two, Jonah, can you hear this? One, two, Jonah, can you hear this? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to J. Duncan Smith Field at Federico Stadium on the campus of Boys Latin School of Maryland. Today's varsity lacrosse game is between the St. John's College Cadets of Washington, D.C. and the Boys Latin Lakers. This is the regular season opener for both teams. We'll get underway in just a few moments.
and we're just about to get underway here, ladies and gentlemen, as the teams come out to greet each other. Boys Latin with pretty much the same starting lineup this year as we ended last season with. Some numbers have changed. Uh, Brady Weslowski, number 22, one of the most notable differences. Sophomore giving a start this year. And here we go underway. Taking the face off for St. John's, number six, Drew Nicholas. For the Lakers, number seven, Parker Hoffman. Nicholas and Hoffman now lined up to take the face off. And we're underway. Lakers working around behind the cage. Haven't played only two scrimmages so far this season. Still getting comfortable with each other. There's Liam White on a run behind the cage. Looks like Higgins back there. Higgins looking for a man to come open here. Oh, that's not Higgins. Who's that? Oh, that is Higgins. Okay, Matt Higgins is wearing number five. He was announced in the pregame as 36. That was his number last year, but he has changed numbers. Ford finds Inslee. Inslee comes around the side. Back to Ford. Ooh, swing and miss by Sidner. St. John's goalie scoops it up and looks for the clear. John's moving it across midfield pretty easily here. And we get an offsides call on St. John's. Turnover, Lakers ball. There's a look at Will Onmacht. First year starting. Last year, Dylan Cadigan. Lakers starting goalie. There's Meredith. Oh, good attempt by Mike Meredith. George Zinsley causing a little disruption there. Followed up by Liam White. And it looks like that could be Laker ball. And I had no doubt having a friendly conversation over there on the bench. And a flag is on the field. Flag on the play. Looks like a penalty on the Lakers. Elbow to the head. Unreleasable. Looks like we maybe have multiple penalties. Two penalties on the Laker. Lakers, one minute each. Looks like Liam White. Cole Quenzer in the in the penalty box. St. John's gonna go up two men here. And the Lakers bench counts the passes when they're man down. It's a little bit of an intimidation tactic. Trying to throw off St. John's. It's kind of enjoyable to watch as a fan. St. John's goal by number one. St. John's goal by number one. 
Ryder McGowan. Excuse me, John Draley. John Draley on the goal for the St. John's Cadets, and it's one to nothing. St. John's early. They call him Squiddy. Connor Sidner, border on the Boys Latins campus. Great part of the BL community. Lakers looking to get something started here. Get that one back. John Stubbs on the field. Higgy, oh, whistle, and penalty on the Lakers for some reason. Saved by Will Onmott. Will headed to Notre Dame next year. Will was more or less the number two last year behind Dylan Cadigan in the net. One of the Lakers' best defensive middies right here, Connor Shanewetter. Really scrapper. Matt Higgins, 36 last year. This year he's changed to number five. Threw off the uh, pregame announcements a little bit. That's okay. Some of the guys just waiting for seniors to graduate so they could get their number. There's Ford, one of the top recruits in the country, headed to Maryland next year. Higgins, known for this, this move on this side over here. He's got it pretty much wherever he wants it. Ooh, great save, but a, or is that a poster? I think that hit the post. Great shot by Sidner. Just couldn't connect. Flag on the field. Thirty-second penalty on St. John's. Lakers go man up for thirty seconds. Right, we'll start from over here. I can move it pretty quickly, so we'll have the cameraman sit a little wide here. Stays Laker ball. Good decision by Liam White there to cut the, the cadet off in his tracks. Save possession. Yeah! Liam White on the goal from Matt Higgins. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Laker goal by number 23, Liam White. Assisted by number five, Matt Higgins. Oh, 
Oh, looks like uh, St. John's jumped early, so it'll be Laker ball. What are you doing, dude? Don't sacrifice the video for the Twitter. Great save by the St. John's goalie there. They're making it work today, no doubt. Some really creative shooters on this Laker squad. Whoa. Laker goal by number four, George Inslee, unassisted on that one. Laker goal by number four, George Inslee, unassisted. Inslee, uh, an attackman last year. This year he slid down to the midfield line, but it doesn't look like he's changed his game at all with that uh, cleanup goal there. Two to one, Lakers. Back to the face-off X here. Hoffman. About five minutes left in the first quarter right now. It's 2-1 to one Lakers on this, their opening game of the regular season of the 2024 lacrosse season. This non-conference game against the St. John's Cadets from D.C., <laughs> Herring moving it to a new number this year. I believe he was uh, in the 40s last, se last season. But he's going to definitely get some run. Oh, get that ground ball. St. John's comes up with it. Turnover by St. John's, almost. Oh, Duncan Barnes almost come up with it. Shane or Wazlowski comes in, try to clear it out. And the refs are going to call St. John's offsides. Laker ball, turnover. Three minutes and 40 seconds left in the first quarter. Three to one, boys Latin. Duncan Barnes, defensive midi. Don't usually see that from Duncan. Duncan headed to the University of Delaware next year, where former Lakers lacrosse player Tyler Owings currently attends. They'll be teammates again. Great save by Will Onmacht. And a hold on the Lakers. Right back to St. John's. And I don't know if you could just hear that on the, on the stream, but St. John's is running a play called Maryland because they all just screamed it out from the sidelines. You could hear that.
Oh, good, good break up there by Meredith. Chan comes up with the loose ball over to Weslowski, his first year starter. And back to Meredith, one of the captains on the squad. And Nick Chan on a run. He's headed to Towson next year. Higgins just setting it up, waiting for somebody to come open. Or until he decides just do it himself. There's Liam White, headed to Ohio State next year. Oh, what an amazing attempt there. White to Inslee. Inslee missed the net by three inches maximum. Higgins will take it out. There's the class president, Colin Kenny. We call him CK. Ooh. Wow. White from Ford. What a great passing display there. Laker goal by number 23, Liam White. Assist by number 18, Spencer Ford. That makes the score four to one Lakers here with a minute 37 remaining in the first quarter. Ooh, a little pushy push from their pole. And Mike Meredith, a dual sport athlete, his other sport well, three sports, actually. He plays football in the fall, but then he plays squash in the winter. One of the best squash players on the team currently. Really helped the team have a successful season this year. Now here's Shane Wetter. He's a scrappy guy. He's not going to let you pass the easy 15. Ooh. A little bit of a crunch there from the Lakers' defense. Look up, look up. And Anma comes down with it. Outlet to Shane Wetter. The def er, and this is Prout, Mason Prout, rocking a new number this year. Oh, scooped up by Shane Wetter. Go, go do it. Oh, wow. Shane Wetter told me earlier this year he's, his goal for the season is to get his first G. He hasn't got hit the net yet in his high school college career, or his high school career, excuse me. But that's his goal. Shane Winter heading to Marquette next year. Ford looks like he's setting something up. Oh, behind the back. Wow, to Higgins. Almost pulled off an amazing play there. But the goalie comes out with it, and he tries to launch it. Flag on the field. Flag on the field. With 1.9 seconds left in the first period, it is four to one Lakers, and we'll find out what this penalty is. Looks like a one minute. One minute penalty on St. John's, number three. One minute penalty on St. John's. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. At the end.
BLTV recently uh, interviewed some lacrosse players to get their thoughts for the upcoming season. And to a man, uh, each one of them said pretty much they'd like to, as a personal goal, just be the best possible teammate they could be. And as a team goal, they really they really have a sour taste, taste left in their mouth from the def defeat at, at Navy Marine Corps Stadium last year to McDonough. So they're, they're looking to, to make up for that. And I believe they can do it. Of course, they could have done it last year, if not for a few plays going this way, going that way. But this senior group is interesting. And we're about to get underway for the second quarter here. Lakers will take the ball in up top. Man up to begin the second quarter. And as you notice, the Lakers are the only team that does the counting when they're man down. And there's really something to that. I, uh, it's one of the cooler things that they do. and It shows just how unified they are as a team. They're cheering for each other all the time. They're not bored when they're not on the field or oh, Inslee from Sidner. Wow. Great teamwork there. That makes the score five to one with 11 minutes and 30 seconds remaining in the second quarter. 40 for them. What is it? 42. Ellis Strong, one of the long sticks, taking the, the face off for the St. John's Cadets. Oh. Hoffman had a couple of those goals last year, specifically in the playoffs versus McDonough and, and St. Mary's, where just took it down off the face off and just, just put it in. It's one of the most exciting plays in lacrosse, a face off goal. Can happen in a split second. Change the game. So we're all even now. Ooh, good defense by. St. John's there to strip Ford from his stick. He doesn't have a good angle to do anything else with it, though. Great defense by White to deflect the pass there. And Meredith comes out with it. Sidner in the far corner. Finding Higgins behind. Posted that one from Higgins. It's going to deflect right out of bounds. Remain in Lakers possession. White in the bounds. Back to Higgins. Can't remember who wore five last year. Like maybe Noah Jones. Inslee behind looking for somebody to come open. And he just dumped it out to Ford. He's going to go do the same thing and come right around. And great shot. Good save. One of Ford's signature moves to come from behind a cage and just stuff it in the corner there. Had about two or three of those against McDonough last year. It's 
Just under nine minutes remaining here in the second quarter. It's five to one, Boys Latin against the St. John's Cadets visiting from Washington, D.C. This is Boys Latin's first game of the regular season. I believe St. John's may have played one already. I could be wrong about that. There's Duncan Barnes on defense. Great job in there. Down by Dizzy Arup getting some run. Duncan with a little behind the back pass. Meredith comes out with it. He's sitting there up top. He's going to buy some time, wait for his boys to get on the field. Sidner, Ford, and Higgins is the combo you're going to see all year. Really doing some big things. Laser beam by Sidner. Sails over the top of the cage. Lincoln Herring on the goal. Uh, unassisted with that one. Laker goal by number eight, Lincoln Herring. Unassisted. And there'll be a timeout here. Timeout on the field as well. St. John's will give their boys a breather here. Down 6-1 with 7 minutes and 17 seconds remaining in the first quarter. I'd like to give a shout-out to the Boys Latin Game Day Club for doing a great job all football season and all basketball season long. The guys are pretty busy this spring, so the crew is not really applying to the lacrosse games, but we'll still get them on the air for you. And this is something we will continue for years to come, hopefully, with Boys Latin Sports Network and Boys Latin TV bring you all the games we possibly can. This year, we're just starting with the home varsity lacrosse, basketball, and football. And as we progress, hopefully we'll expand that and do some JV and middle school and who knows what. Take the face off after that last goal. Hoffman and Ellis. Ellis, yeah, yeah. Strong. Hoffman wins the, wins the face off over Ellis Strong for St. John's. White with a laser that sails over the cage. Just a little too much power on that one. Yeah. 
<laughs> White with another laser. Great save by the goalie. I don't think I'd want to be in the way of a Liam White shot like that. Count me out a goalie on a day like this. Trying to muscle his way in. Out to White on the edge. Here comes CK. Trying to work his way in. St. John's playing some good defense there. But it's only a matter of time for the Lakers get a shot they like. Sidner. And turnover for the Lakers. St. John's ball. Five minutes remaining in the half. Ford, uh, Ford good at stalking the keeper like that. He, he definitely made some turnovers last year. Liam White almost causing a turnover. And Lakers ball. It was at offsides, I believe. Call him John Jack, Mr. Stubbs. Flag on the field. Flag on the field. That'll be a penalty on St. John's when they touch the ball again. Clock will stop. So the Lakers are just going to take their time here, see if they can get something they like, not rush it. Inslee trying to work his way in. Nothing there. Over to Stubbs, who... And so we'll stop play and find out what the penalty is. Looks like a one-minute penalty on the St. John's Cadets. One-minute penalty on St. John's. And the Lakers will go up a man here for 60 seconds, which will take us to under three minutes. We've got 3.30 remaining here in the first half. Six to one, Lakers. Higgins with the ball, bringing it in. Refs just taking a breather, I guess. There we go. I mean, it almost, ooh, great save by the goalie. Timeout on the field, St. John's. Timeout, St. John's. monitor though, right? You are it's helping you. Oh this yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool.
I can't see, huh? St. John's is killing off the penalty here, and we're even again. With two under 230 left in the half here. St. John's see if they can put another tick on the board before the break. I need to get some kind of momentum if they want to have a chance in the second half versus these Lakers. Good shot. Flexion by Amok. And a little bit of a bounce. Too much bounce on that one. I wouldn't really have a chance. That'll stay with St. John's. Shot clock expired. As you can see in the corner of our shot here real quickly is the Lakers' new scoreboard. Debuted for football season last fall. It's the first time the lacrosse season gets to have it. Pre-game we had, uh, looks like another timeout on the field. Yes, sir. Pre-game the boys had their media day shots on display on the scoreboard, which is nice for them. One minute, 19 seconds remaining in the first half. Six to one Lakers in their regular season opener. Uh, got some goals from, I think, he, maybe even six different guys to this point. Or Liam White has scored twice. I think Inslee maybe has scored twice. And I don't have all these facts ready for you because uh, my spotter's not here today. So. so if anybody sees Coach Meisel, send them on up. Butch, come on up. I need you to spot me. So the Lakers definitely would like to add to the board before, before halftime here. Nice six-goal lead would be sweet going in a half. Higgins, haven't heard his name called yet, except on the assist. Ford and Higgins developing great chemistry. Just what a pair. And throw in Sidner there. And the attack line is just gelling. Oh, Ford with his uh, behind the back try. Expect a few of those this season. 
Interesting pass up decision by the St. John's with three, two, one. That's halftime, and the score is Lakers six, St. John's one.
one of the more interesting warm-up rituals. Our backup goalies, Skeet Hine and Gary Held and Logan Dax. Playing a little golf out there. Showing the, the wedges. Getting good lift on it. Hey, you got to keep yourself amused when you're a backup goalie. I'll take it down. Two minutes remaining in the half here, and then we'll be back to action. The horn has sounded, and we will begin play in the second half momentarily. Pardon me. Strong and Parker Hoffman to take the face off to begin the second half of play. Now call a push on St. John's for that one and give Ward Parker the ball. Ford from Higgins on the goal. A little shake and bake from Ford. Laker goal by number 18, Spencer Ford. Assist by number five, Matt Higgins. That makes the score Lakers seven, St. John's one. Strong and Hoffman taking the face off. Hoffman comes up with the ground ball. Quenzer, nice little dish back to Hoffman. Oh, 
Flag on the field. Some yellow has hit the turf. That'll be on the Lakers when they touch the ball. Play will stop, and we'll find out what that's about. So St. John's will take their time, set up a play, try to maximize the potential of this play here to get a G, and then have a penalty. Meredith on, on the pole here, keeping them away. Shane Wetter. And here comes Sidner down. Play some defense. Chan. Nowhere to go against Chan out there. And um, unabashed Homer here doing the announcing. But, you know, we can do that here. Great pass. Uh, couldn't connect on it. Good, good look, though, but the St. John's player Inslee throws a shoulder into it. There's another flag. Another flag. And we'll stop play and find out what all the laundry's about. Looks like it's going to be two penalties on the Lakers. With just over nine minutes remaining in the third quarter, it's seven to one. The cadets only goal coming on a short, or excuse me, a man up situation. I haven't really had any other good chances. Taking some shots, but nothing really high quality. So maybe two technical fouls on the Lakers. We got Michael Meredith and George Inslee or Sidner. We're about to find out momentarily here. Yep. One minute penalty on the Lakers. 30 second penalty on the Lakers. Do we have three penalties? Wow. So the Lakers looks like they had three guys go down. And we're three men down right now. So two 30-second penalties on Inslee and Sidner and a minute penalty on Meredith. And here we go with the counting again. He lets that one rip. It's a subconscious thing with the offense. Here's the defense cheering, chanting loudly. I mean, you're down three men. And yet you're still fired up on the sideline, willing your defense to stop the, to kill the penalty. And all it takes is a little bit something like that to where, oh, Arup tried to get it to the goalie, but it was intercepted. Lakers killing this penalty. The two 30 seconds are over. Merritt is still 23 seconds of reigning in his penalty. But what great defense there by the Lakers to kill that off. And I'll give credit to the sideline there. That's definitely part of it. Cheering your teammates on in that dire of a situation like that wills them to get it done. It also has to play on the offense after they realize they've passed the ball 10 or so times and haven't gotten a shot. You're like, it's like well, what are we doing out here? Number one for St. John's. He had the first goal, and he has their second goal now. St. John's goal by number one, John Drilly. Unassisted. Drilly has both goals now for St. John's. 
One shorthanded, and this one all even up now. 7-2 to two Lakers, 7.54 remaining in the third. Hoffman and Strong back to the face-off X to get us back into play here. St. John's showing a little bit of life there. Not willing to roll over just yet. Hoffman tries to push it down to his defenders, but it gets kicked around and quickly out of bounds. St. John's ball. Saved by Anmat. Yeah. Meredith with the clear. Oh, excuse me, Weslowski. Oh, he just opened it up for you, Higgins. I mean, you can't leave it that wide open and expect that not to happen, folks. You just can't do that. That's Matt Higgins, and it's 8-2. to Laker goal by number five, Matt Higgins. Unassisted. Yeah, you got to wonder what's going on in the defense's mind there. To just open up the lane for Higgins like that. Hoffman, keep it going. Wins the face off. Going to take a time now. Slow down a little. Let some other guys come on the field. Inslee comes back on. White joins the party. And here's Higgins again, camped out behind. Just waiting. Who wants it? Who wants it? Inslee wants it. Oh, good shot. Tough pass there by St. John's. Kent Quinzer can't scoop it up, but Ford can, and he tosses it back to Amat for the possession. Wesloski up the right side. Here's President, Mr. President. Another poster from Inslee. Maybe we got the post maybe three, four times today, which means the guys are right there. And looks like we got a timeout. St. John's. Timeout, St. John's. And with 5.16 remaining in the third quarter is 8 to 2, Lakers. And we're here on this a uh, little bit chilly evening. Here in Baltimore, Maryland, on the campus of Boys Latin School of Maryland at J. Duncan Smith Field at Federico Stadium. One of the most storied and tradition-rich lacrosse programs in Maryland. But Boys Latin is not only a lacrosse school. Shout out to the varsity hockey team who just took home the title, the MIAAA conference title. Great job by the fellas, led by captains Nick Chan, Bryce Antwerpen, and Drew Weyberg. Great job by all coach Butch Meisel announcing before the game it was his last game coaching. Can be credited as the founder of BL Hockey. It was only a club team before Coach Meisel started it up, uh, took it to the next level. So we thank Coach for everything he's done. And again, congratulations to Coach Meisel, Coach V, 
and all the hockey players at Boys Latin. Great job bringing home the title, fellas. Five sixteen remaining in the third quarter. It's getting a little dark now, but we won't have to worry about that much longer as we head into daylight savings next week. And we'll have some more sunlight around for these lacrosse games. Hagen's going to take it out down inside here. Saved by the goalie. Marcus Acevedo on the long pole, number 88, getting some run. Minutes and 30 seconds remaining in the third quarter. St. John's looking for something. Shot clock violation. Wow. That's an 80 second shot clock, too, so it takes a while. Ford lining up behind, looking for something. You got to think the guys want to bag a few more. Not happy with the six-goal lead here. It's in the cross, no lead is safe, really. Such a quick sport, things can happen seconds. Ooh, tough shot there. Higgins, same feisty, and he gets whistled for it. You got to play nice, Matt. You got to play nice. From 33 from St. John's. Good teamwork by them. St. John's goal by number 8, Eddie Chi. Assist by number 33, Charlie Ball. 
That makes the score 8-3, to three. Lakers, with a minute 30 remaining in the third period. Draley had the first two goals for St. John's. Chi bags the third one. Still down by five. Strong and Hoffman still taking the faceoffs. And Parker Hoffman does what he does best. Face-off goal, takes it down, and makes it 9-3. to three. Answer that. Later goal by number seven, Parker Hoffman. Unassisted. I mean, right there, folks, you got to agree that that's one of the most exciting plays in sports, if not in lacrosse, if not all sports, just to take the ball, win the faceoff, go right down there, and hit the net. You can't beat that. Ooh. I think the refs might have went early on that one, uh, but that's just between you and me. Minute 20 remaining in the third quarter. Lakers up 9-3. to three. Twenty-five on the shot clock for St. John's. They just can't find the lane here. The defense really shutting it down, closing up every possibility, forcing to get off a tough shot like that. Well, she does not reset the clock. Fourteen seconds on the shot clock right now. Tough shot again. And this one will go to the Lakers. <clears throat> Good hustle by Shane Ware on the back end there. Six, five. He just length of the field. That'll stop with two seconds left. And St. John's will probably just do the same thing. Yep. And that's the quarter. At the end of the third quarter, the score. Lakers nine. St. John's three. The score at the end of the third is the Lakers 9, St. John's 3, and 12 minutes left to play. We'll be back with you in about two minutes here. And don't forget, if you're hungry, pick up a Chick-fil-A sandwich. And if you feel like it, drop one by the announcer's booth while you're at it. <laughs> All right. Boys making their way back out on the field for the beginning of the fourth and final quarter of this opening regular season game for the boys Latin Lakers and St. John's Cadets. Lakers up nine to three here. Dominant fashion so far. St. John's hit the board first, one nothing, and really never let again. Here's Hoffman. Ford to Higgins. Hoffman to Ford to Higgins. Great goal. Just teamwork.
Liquor goal by number five, Matt Higgins. Assist by number 18, Spencer Ford. And number seven, Parker Hoffman. And it's 10 to three as we reset back here. You talk about things happening so quickly in, in lacrosse. It's a split second. It's all it takes to, to win the faceoff. I mean, what you know, what makes a guy better than another guy? It's just a split second, a hair fraction of time that he gets his stick over the ball before the other guy does. That's all it takes. Sounds easy, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm sure it's not. Here's the Prez trying to get in on the party. The Lakers really moving with intensity here. Not letting up at all. Do not take the foot off the gas, gentlemen. Coach Farrell would not advise that. Just keep pushing. Keep going. We've got plenty of time remaining. Here's Ford. Tries to go five hole in the keep. And the keep almost puts it in himself, but he recovers. Just under 11 minutes here. Oh, that's going to draw a flag. That's going to draw the ire of the refs. Oh, no, and Meredith is down. So he laid the he laid the, the hit. Oh, is that Weslowski? Excuse me, that's Brady Weslowski. It looks like he might have cramped up. There's a flag on the play. Flag on the field. And the trainers come out to tend to young Mr. Weslowski there. Looks like he might have just twisted his ankle or cramped up. Let's hope for the cramp. Looks like an unreleasable penalty. Two-minute penalty on the Lakers. Unreleasable. Yeah, some of the fans aren't very happy with that uh, penalty call there. Thinking it's a little bit over-exaggerated by the refs, but... Uh, wouldn't be a high school game without some fans disagreeing with the refs now, would it? It looks like he's all right. It might just look like a severe cramp there. And he's walking off under his own power. Yeah, it looks like probably nothing more than a severe cramp. Or he got hit and cramped up, something like that. But Mr. Weslowski's okay. And we'll get back to play here. And we are currently a man down, and you hear our guys yelling. Great shot by saved by Onmok. Prout with the run. Mason Prout switched his number this year. Last year he was number 28. But uh, beginning of the season in football, he, he was wearing two. Still a minute 10 remaining in the penalty on Weslowski. So the Lakers man down here. Just trying to kill the penalty. Nine minutes remaining in the game. 10 to three Lakers. 45 seconds remaining in the penalty. Lakers are a man down. Uh, Sidner over there just trying to run out the clock. Excuse me, Higgins. 
They're sitting there. Under 30. But the shot clock about to run out, so they have to let one loose, and they're content to have a shot clock violation, just trying to kill the penalty. 20 seconds left in the penalty, 8 minutes and 30 seconds remaining in the game. It would take a miracle for St. John's to really get back in it at this point. Seen crazier things, but it's just not feeling that way today. Under 10 in the penalty before we're all even up again. Two, one, and we're even. That shot didn't get close to the net. Bounced off the defender. Eight minutes remaining. Shot that's going to be out of bounds, and that's definitely Laker ball. Little extra dive there by Mr. Chan. Nick Chan heading to Towson University next season to play lacrosse. A member of that, a key member of that hockey championship. The all time leading scorer, I believe, in BL hockey history, Nick Chan. And a pretty cool guy. Again, so the urgency is not there now for the Lakers. You can see them kind of just running the clock, just taking their time. Like, let's get out of here. We got this W. Let's not have any more injuries. I can't, can't, um, you know, game's not over. We still have seven minutes remaining, but you can tell the intensity to step back. They dialed it back a little bit, and they're now kind of running in game manager mode. Until they get something good, Hensley. Whoa, another poster for Sidner. I think it's at least five post shots today. Which means the guys are on point. I'd rather hit the post than go wide. Liam White, you can hear it from up here when he whips that shot. It's like Indiana Jones and his whip. Six minutes and 37 seconds remaining. Here's Higgins coming in from the backside. Don't leave him open now. Don't make that mistake again. CK. Higgins looking for somebody. Sees him. Oh, good defense by the long pole for St. John's. But Sidner turns around, and what a save by the goalie. I bet that goalie would be a good drag racer because he's got good reactions. He'd hit the green, the tree, right when it hits green. Hit that quarter mile. Great defense. Turn the calls the turnover there. Under six to play, closing in on 530. And again, the Lakers just downshift into management mode. And keep away. Play a little keep away. Wouldn't be wouldn't be shocked if they even don't don't shoot it again and take another shot clock violation here. Oh, that is until that makes itself apparent, and then he takes it all in by himself. Laker goal by number 23, Liam Way. Unassisted. That makes it 11-3 to three Lakers with just over five minutes remaining, five minutes and five seconds to be exact. As we mentioned earlier, White heading to Ohio State in the offseason where last year's Defender of the Year, Kyle Foster, is currently getting some run. BL alum. Shout out to Kyle Foster. Ridgely Ritter in to take the, the face off now for the Lakers. Lakers getting some more boys in to get some time here in the final five minutes. 
They're going to need to show some depth later in the season for sure. The cross season is a very, very long season, but it's definitely a tough season. We start in the elements. Pretty, not quite cold today, but it's chilly. By the time we're done playing, we'll probably be sweating in shorts. Well, everyone will be wearing shorts, not just the players. Yeah. Under 4.30 to play. St. John's goal by number 23. St. John's goal by number 23, Jimmy Masler. Ridge Leroot are in again to take the face off. Backing up Parker Hoffman this year. Whereas last year, Hoffman, Hoffman began the season as Thomas Moxley's backup. Four minutes remaining. Three thirty remaining. Forty four seconds remaining on the shot clock. Three minutes remaining. Somebody lost the head off their stick. Under three to play. And St. John's is a man down currently. Guy had no stick. John Stubbs. 50. 50 from 48. Laker goal by number 50, Joey Keller. Assisted by number 48, Karsten Shepard. That makes the score 12 to 4. Keller on the goal. Shepard with the dime. Keller, of course. Uh, oh, and the Lakers have a new goalie. Skeet Hine is in goal. I love getting some Skeeter run out there. Ridgely Ritter pops it out. Duncan Barnes scoops up the ground ball. Oh, momentarily. And couldn't control it. About 2.30 remaining. St. John's ball. Two minutes and seven seconds remaining. Under two remaining, 12 to four now. Lakers just gonna try to get the clear. And he couldn't get it in time. 1.30 on the clock.
One minute remaining. Thirty seconds remaining. Twenty seconds. Almost took the ref's head off. Got a duck, ref. Make sure you duck. The final 10 seconds of this regular season opener for the boys Latin Lakers is going to end in victory. 12 to 4 will be your final. Thank you for watching the stream, and we'll see you next time on Boys Latin Sports Network.